Okay guys, so welcome back to another part. This is the part three of the devlog series where I am creating a game completely from scratch. And here we are now. So this style of video is gonna be a little bit different than the previous two as I'm slowly trying to find what works best. So yeah, this video is just gonna be me talking over the footage and then at certain parts we'll slow it down probably near the end and we'll just kind of talk about everything but yeah so I'm just going to be basically narrating over this video for the most part and you'll just see all the clips in the back again just like the other parts I am recording pretty much everything that I do for this game um, so while this footage is playing I'm probably just going to be playing some footage that I started at the beginning of the video um, and so what we did from part two till now so this part three is basically I created a pretty advanced camera um, and this is like a zoom in zoom out following the characters around type camera it's a camera you're gonna see in things like Smash Bros or any kind of platformer fighter game I feel so I'm gonna be making an in-depth tutorial on this specifically because this took way too long I actually got a lot of assistance from my brother as we we're both into coding so we kind of tackled this problem together but yeah so that's kind of what i did from part two to part three and then also i just added in a little arrow so that you can actually see what direction you're blocking in because it got really difficult to see when the camera zooms in zooms out you can't really see where your shield is pointing so this just makes it a lot easier to see actually where you're pointing your shield and where you're going to actually shoot the projectile and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna get into the video now and start talking about what we're doing throughout the video. Okay, so first up, we started on the outlining of the characters. So as you can see, we're kind of just starting to ink the characters, create a little outline over top of them in whatever color they're associated with. Um, this is the same color we used to outline the projectile as well. So yeah, just doing a quick outline and we should be done pretty soon. Now we are going to start working on projectiles. So I started fixing up the soldier's projectile, just fixing up some things that needed to be fixed and starting on the wizard projectile. So the wizard projectile is actually pretty strange. It's kind of like a torpedo type attack where it starts off really slow and it picks up speed as it travels through the air. So he's gonna be a little bit of a weird class. He's also gonna have like a bouncing bullet type attack um, if you use his attack in the air shooting downwards. But for now, we're just sticking to the base projectiles. I just really, by the end of this video, wanted to get done a basic mock-up of what the game is gonna look like. And you guys will actually see footage at the end. I end up playing against my brother. And yeah, so you'll actually get to see kinda everything that the game will be based around. There will be a lot more stuff like actual proper levels and power-ups and more attacks and all that kind of stuff, characters, whatever. But this is kind of like a basic mock-up of what the game is going to be like and what you can kind of expect. Now we get into blocking, so now we're focusing on trying to get the blocking working. I'm going to tell you right now, 
By the end of this video, the blocking is still not working perfectly. Um, it doesn't really collide properly with all of the, on the front, top, and bottom. But for the most part, it works pretty well. So I just kept it for this video, but later on, I'm probably gonna just go back and fix some of the errors I ran into, like the projectile going through the target and just some stuff like that. Now we start working on the dust particles. So these are just little particles that will just go over your character as you walk around. Just little dust will fly up. So nothing major, just wanted to add a few more particles to the game to make it feel a little bit more real. So that's kind of all that's happening here and we'll cut back when something actually important is happening. So now we get into the damage and health system. So I actually started implementing in damage associated with the particles. They don't just show that they're doing damage, but they actually do damage and lower the player's health. And then obviously we work on some death stuff. So when you get to less than or equal to zero health, obviously you will be dead. So you will die and then you will respawn at your player spawn, which is also what we're setting up now. So now you won't just spawn on top of each other. You'll actually have a unique spot where you actually spawn in and respawn. And that's pretty much all that we're doing for this video. So when we're finished that, I'll come back and just end off this video real quick. Okay guys, so we are done pretty much everything we need to get done for this video. I think I went back over a couple things after this video and decided to put in little particle effects when you land on the ground. It just adds more dust particles than when you're actually running around. And just adding a few little things to the squash and stretch to make you actually notice the effect properly. But for the most part, this is the current state of the game. It's technically playable. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of stuff added. As I said earlier, power-ups, different type attacks on your characters, more characters, more maps, proper maps, a HUD, music, sound effects, vibrations in your controls, 
But for now, this is a super, super basic setup of what the game is going to look like. So if you're actually interested in playing this game, what I'm going to do is at the end of the series, I'm actually going to upload probably something like an indie fund me page or something like that. So we can try to raise as much money as possible for this game so we can get as much done and give this game the proper publishing it needs. As I am already seeing a huge future for this game, I feel like it's already really fun. I got pretty into it playing and I only see it going up from here. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with these devlogs. This is my main focus right now is finishing this series. And then once I finish the series, I'll do things like adding a trailer for the game and showing you guys the trailer, starting the Indie Fund Me page, and going back and doing tutorials of a few things that I didn't show in this series that I think is very important, such as the advanced camera and being able to shoot the projectiles and just a couple little platformer techniques that I use that I think a lot of people would actually find some use out of. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you subscribe and keep with this devlog. And then once it's finished, I really, really hope that we actually get to raise the funds for this game so we can possibly see it on console or maybe some online play or just whatever ends up working out. I hope to see you in part four, but if not, thanks for watching.